question number one let's comprehend what is given for a complex number z real part of z denotes the r e h z denotes the real part of z okay let s be the set of all complex number z satisfying this equation we write iota is equal to under root of minus one then the minimum possible value of this so this is ask and z1 z2 belongs to set s real part of z is greater z1 is greater than zero and real part of z2 is less than zero this is given what is asked the minimum possible value of modulus of z1 minus z2 square let's analyze so i recall modulus of z square is equal to z z bar Modulus of Z1 minus Z2 is distance between points representing complex number Z1 and Z2 in the Argand diagram, XY coordinate system, XY plane. These are basic results from NCRT and we will use them. Now I recognize from this equation, Z, modulus of Z is square, I can write Z, Z bar, so a square of that. And Z square is common here. So Z square into Z square minus mod, uh, Z bar square minus 4 iota is equal to 0. Now Z cannot be 0. From this we get actually Z is equal to 0 or this equal to 0. But Z cannot be equal to 0. So this is a equation as real part of Z1 is greater than 0 and real part of Z2 is less than 0. This is given. So Z1, Z2 cannot be 0. So I recognize that. Now let's execute. Let's calculate. So I take Z is equal to X plus iota Y. This is the equation. Z minus Z bar to Z plus Z bar is equal to 4 iota. And Z minus Z bar is equal to twice iota Y. Z plus Z bar is equal to 2X. That is equal to 4 iota. So we get XY equal to 1 x y equal to 1 is a rectangle, rectangular hyperbola. We know that. And that's how it looks. That's a graph of the x y equal to 1. Now, if I say this, x1 is greater than 0. Real part of z1 is given greater than 0. And x2 is less than 0. Real part of z2 is less than 0. Means complex number z1 is in first quadrant here. Complex number z2 is in third quadrant. I also know that if a point P is on one branch of a hyperbola and other point Q is on the other branch of the hyperbola, then distance PQ is minimum if points P and Q are vertices of hyperbola. Now xy is equal to 1 is symmetric about line y equal to x. It says it's transverse axis of the hyperbola. So points of intersection of hyperbola and its vertex, its transverse axis are vertex of hyperbola. So we know that. So y equal to x line here. So we just solve them. x y equal to 1 and y equal to x. So we get this point P, this point Q, coordinates are 1, 1, and Q is equal to minus 1, minus 1. So minimum distance of this, minimum possibility of this will be minimum distance between them and the square of that. So we just use the distance between them. We get the answer. P Q square is equal to 8. All basic result NCRT straight simple approach i got the answer it is eight no trick no complication no mystery this is my approach straight simple approach ss approach no trick no complication no mystery my name is sushir sani i'm graduate of iid rookie class of 96 iidj coach since 99 thank you